Hello everyone. Today we're going to have a different type of video which is super important which has to do with body mechanics during sex because if you don't know ladies if you don't know how to properly move uh, you can like hurt your muscles and a lot of men have very poor body mechanics and body awareness of how to move a woman's body around in bed. So the first thing though I want to say is that when it comes to thrusting, a man does not need to have his entire penis inside of you to orgasm because they orgasm from the stimulation on the tip. When you've seen men, a man masturbate, and I've seen hundreds of them masturbate, if this is the penis, they're not doing this. I've never seen a guy masturbate like this. They're doing this, right under the head where the frenulum is. Look up frenulum. It's this tiny little skin underneath the head on the bottom side. In fact, I've seen a video where a woman brought a man to orgasm just licking that, just licking this part, okay? She, so they don't have to go all the way in. And this is super important if you're petite like me. I'm only 5'3". And the cervix is very sensitive in a good way. But if you ram it, it hurts like you being kicked in the balls. So the first thing I want to say is that the depth of thrusting... The woman has every right to say, ladies, we have to start speaking up. Like, you don't have to put it all the way in my vagina or in my mouth. There's no need to deep throat unless you are turned on by abusing someone or violating someone or hurting someone. There's no need for it unless you think it's fun, ladies. They don't need it. Uh, a lot of guys get turned on from that because they've watched too much porn. How would you guys like to slide a big sausage down your throat? It's not fun. It's not sexy. Same way with the thrusting of the penis. So that's the first thing. Always be aware of how it feels. And you ladies get to control the depth. Don't let any guy tell you he's got to stick the whole thing in. They like to see it all go in. It's visually stimulating, but they don't need it to come because when they're masturbating, they're not doing this. I've watched hundreds of men masturbate. They do this. They're not doing this. <laughs> they're doing this right under the head. That's what they do. And some guys do it just barely. Some guys will use more of a stroke, but so the idea that they have to get their whole dick in you is BS and uh I have a video on my Just for Fans for this Friday. I had sex with this very passionate younger man. Um, and he orgasmed in the doggy style, just putting his head in. That's it. That's all he put in. He was super freaking hot. <laughs> he was super freaking hot, this guy. Okay. So that's the first thing about the depth. And... I know there was a product I tried years ago, these rings that go around the penis to control how deep it can go in. But the problem is the rings would go in too because they're kind of like, it just didn't work. So I haven't found a good product, but ideally there'd be something around the man's penis or you can put your hand on it. We as ladies get to control the depth. Now some women like a lot of pressure on their cervix and tall women, tall women, like longer penises, but I'm only 5'3". Okay, you can touch my vagina with these three inches, the, the cervix. Tall women, longer penises desired. Shorter women, shorter penises desired. In fact, um, Hispanic men, Indian men, shorter men always have smaller penises. And the women are shorter, so it all matches up. These tall white guys, especially if they're lean, have long penises. Long penises. They get super freaking hard. And Caucasian women are often taller. Okay, so 
you got to know the depth. You've got to know the woman's body, how deep you can go. You can't just like ram your way in there. The same with body mechanics, okay? Um, different women have different bone structures, different body heights, and you have to be considerate of her body size and her body. So now the second part of this video is going to teach you a lot of mechanics around how to move your body because I, a lot of women, a lot of people have pain in their body which keeps them from wanting to be sexual or having sex but sex is a physical activity it's a physical activity okay it's going to involve a workout you're going to need your lats you're going to need your core you're going to need your inner thighs you're going to need your glutes you got to have really good body awareness of your own body and your partner's body and especially men have to have awareness because they're very strong and they're doing the thrusting and it's easy for them to inadvertently hurt women and women aren't speaking up which is why i'm making this video i do like making this video but i'm going to make this video okay i just got back from the gym um so the first part is for the ladies if the lady is on top a lot of women okay so these and I don't know all the muscle names, but I know that these, these are stabilizer muscles here, these outer glutes. They're not meant to support your weight and go up and down. Okay, so if you're on top, you're not supposed to use these muscles. You have to use your inner thighs and your lower abs. You got to strengthen these. If you, because otherwise, so many women get in their 40s and they can't ride on top anymore because they're using the wrong muscles and they have hip pain because they're using these muscles for uh, movement. So you've got to strengthen your inner thighs and when you're riding on top, you want to use your inner thighs and these abs. And you can also support your weight so you're in your lap. So I will demonstrate. So it'll be like this. Let's say, okay, uh, or like this. Squeeze the inner thighs together, inner thighs, okay? When you get tired, stop. Maybe spread your legs out so you're like this on top of the guy. You can even be like this on top of the guy, okay? So that's the first thing. Now, if you're doing reverse cowgirl, Men's hips are much wider than mine. So they're usually laying with their legs wide apart and they want me to go like this, which is way too wide, way too wide. So put their, I put their legs together. Then I go like this and I support myself in my lats, okay? So it looks like I wanna keep my knees as close to hip width as possible I want to be in, keep my abs engaged, my inner thighs engaged, and then I'm like this, like this. It's a workout. I'm using my lower abs, I'm using my inner thighs, I'm in my arms, and my arms are like, you know, I'm really in my arms. You can also do a squatting type move on a guy where you're really in your, you know, where you're doing this in reverse cowgirl or in front. But as you can see, it's a workout. The interesting thing is that when the men are thrusting, their legs are always together. This is what I want you to get. Their legs are always together like this. When they're on the bottom, just relaxed. And when they're on top, their legs are together too. They're doing this. The woman's legs are opened, okay, to have access to her genital area. So when she's on her back, she's like this. If she's on top, she's like this. 
And that's a very important point I want you guys to get. This is why men don't complain about their hip pain when they're having sex. Their legs are closed, which makes it very easy for them. And because our legs are open, we have it's harder for us to be on top because, like I said, with the movement. So I want you to just really be aware of that, that their legs are always closed. Their legs are always hip width apart. And our legs are open. And we don't have to open them more than is comfortable. Okay. Now, the other thing they'll do, a lot of guys, guys are so cute. They don't know any better. We got to teach them. Unless they've done some kind of wrestling, they probably don't know how to move your body around in bed or if it's too much weight on you. So another thing they'll do, they have you on your back. Again, they're, they're not trying to hurt you. They don't know any better. So they have you on your back. And usually on your back, you could be like this, okay? This will keep your vagina in a more neutral position, but if you angle up, it will shorten the length and it can hurt depending on the length of his penis. And then they'll do a bunch of stuff, you know, like they might even do this, put my legs back like that. And that's fine, but I'm like, I'm 61. I'm surprised that you have women who can do this because I'm pretty strong and flexible and I can do this, but they act like anybody, they act like any woman can just do this. Like that's a lot, especially then if they start putting their weight on me, they don't know what they're doing. A lot of them don't know what they're doing. So you got to stop them. If the pressure is too much or the weight is too much, it's because he doesn't know what he's doing. So when he's on top, his shoulder should be no more than here. When his shoulders are up here, he doesn't know what he's doing. So if it's uncomfortable or too much pressure, you got to tell the guy that's too much pressure. It's going to ruin the moment. He may lose his erection, but how else is he going to learn? If you have a regular partner, maybe just practice what's comfortable with your body while you're not in the heat of the moment. So they'll do that. Sometimes they'll do this, you know, they do different things. I'm like, okay, just move me around, you know, as long as it's comfortable. Now, here's a pet peeve I have, which is hip bumping. I hate the hip bumping. Okay, but I don't say that. I'll be like, that kind of hurts. I just want to feel your penis. They hip bump. I don't know. They think that it's like hot or something. It hurts. I'm not, you know, if they're with a very large woman who's got a lot of body fat, maybe it'll work because her fat absorbs the impact. I don't know. I'm very, I'm very petite. I'm very petite. And I don't have a lot of, I have a lot of muscle, but I don't have a lot of fat. So that hip bumping thing hurts. Um, and they'll hip bump when they're on top and they really want to thrust hard. Um, and they're bumping my hip or in doggy style, they hip bump. I'm like, don't do that. In fact, when I tell a guy, I don't want to feel the hips. I just want to feel your penis. They actually like that because some of it, guys with the long penis don't hip bump. Men who are insecure about the length of their penis or men who actually have a short penis, they will hip bump to give you all their penis or something. I don't know. But guys, you don't need to hip bump because you, the vagina is very sensitive and it's a muscle. We can feel you even if you're very short. You know, you don't have to hip bump and you really, you just need to get the head in and out for you to orgasm in a condom. Any guy should be able to orgasm with just his head in and out in a condom, unless he is desensitized, which a lot of them are. By the way, when guys get older, they often have a lot of um, white. The tip of their penis will turn whitish because they've lost the blood flow unless they do regular cardio. 
all the guys I've ever seen in their 70s who are runners, they're very lean, they get super freaking hard, no Viagra in their 70s, and their penis is still a nice pinkish color. But I've seen a lot of older men where the tip of the penis starts turning white because they're just not getting enough blood flow. So keep doing that cardio, guys. Cardio and strength training builds your testosterone, ladies. If you lose your libido, do some strength training. It'll increase your vitality and your testosterone. The other thing they'll do that I don't like, <laughs> they don't know. Because when I correct, when I was when I was doing all this with the men, I corrected them. They were always very grateful. No one ever complained. They just don't know. So you don't have to put up with it thinking, oh my God, this is what he wants to do. They just don't know. If they're unable to support their own weight, they will put their weight on you. So say you're in a doggy style position. Now in a doggy style position, I would always ask the guy, do you want to be on the bed or do you want to stand up? Because they can be on the bed. A guy can be on the bed thrusting or he can be standing up thrusting or he can have one foot on the bed thrusting so the guy can get you know his preferred um, position but you have to support your own weight guys <laughs> you cannot push down on the woman it freaking hurts so they're doing this you know and they got their whole weight on me now, I'm just a 120-pound woman, and I've got a 200-pound guy pushing down on me. Like, don't be so lazy. You know, you got to support your own weight, guy. Come on. <laughs> you know, you got to figure out, guys, guys, you need to know how to thrust, supporting your own weight. Now, if I was a guy thrusting, I would probably also use these lower abs and my inner thighs and my glutes to drive okay uh, I would I would probably do it like that I'm not gonna push down on the woman that's lazy uh, to support my weight now what you can do you can hold her hips you can definitely touch her but don't be pressing down on her and pressing down on her and hip bumping is the worst combination um, The other thing is, um, let's see. Now, there's there. If you're a woman who likes, um, I don't know what the position is called, like more of a, like a sideways position or being on your stomach. Those positions are really nice, but only men with longer penises can do them. Men with shorter penises will always slip out, especially if the woman has a big butt like I do. Uh, but that one is really nice. I like that one a lot because the guy is on top of me. He's kind of like, you know, whispering in my ear. And it's just very nice. Um, let's see. I think I covered everything. The... This is again why exercise is so good because it really helps people. Uh, sex is a physical activity. It's exercise. And it's a workout. You know? Um, in my opinion. So the more that you're fit and you can use good body mechanics, you can enjoy sex a lot more. And you won't hurt yourself. I... Frankly, I get very bored with men who just lay there in bed. The reason that a man will just lay there in bed is guys who don't work out. Uh, when they don't work out, they just lay there. So it's not as exciting. It's not as fun. They don't know how to move because their body is lazy. And I'm sure there are women who just lay there. I don't know. I'm not. Yeah, there are a lot of women that just lay there too. It's very boring when you just lay there. It's fun if you can move around a little bit, you know, get on top, change positions, you know. Another thing, too, is like 
if you're, you know, as a woman, if you're giving a guy um, a blowjob and he's standing up, it's a very nice way to kind of honor the man, like worship, worshiping him to his cock, I always would say. And then again, uh, you got to be in a position where you can, you know, you might have to raise up and you can be in your inner thighs, your glutes, your abs as you're doing that, you know, or supporting yourself. This is body mechanics are like super freaking important uh, during sexual activity. It just makes it a lot more fun. I get bored with people who just lay there. It's just super freaking boring. And the reason they lay there is because they're lazy. Their bodies don't work. We are spiritual beings in physical form. We are supposed to <laughs> like, like using our body, whether, you know, I just swept my patio or I'm vacuuming or I'm doing laundry, you know, I'm, I'm moving. And this is why I'm such a big fan of Pilates, strength training, cardio, because it helps me to enjoy moving. And uh, this video is about moving during sex. I don't even know what to call it. I want a lot of people to watch this video, but if I just say body mechanics during sex, it sounds really boring. How do not hurt yourself in bed? How about that? How do not hurt yourself during sex? <laughs> because you can hurt yourself. Like I said, ladies, you can hurt yourself when you're, when you're like going up and down in the doggy style and the uh, girl on top. If your legs are too far apart, because these are not like muscles. These are not strong enough. The glutes are strong. And the inner thighs are strong. So you've got to keep your legs close enough together that you can go up and down. Okay, you can even practice or like in a reverse cow, reverse cowgirl, you can even just squeeze your knees together like this. Okay, you want to, and you want to have like a, be in your straight. Okay super important to have good form um, so we can hurt ourselves through poor body mechanics and we can also hurt ourselves as ladies by not speaking up for a man who's thrusting too deep uh, putting us in uncomfortable positions and then pushing his weight on us because he doesn't know have awareness of how to move his body in relation to another person's body. Like, where do we learn that? Unless you've been like a wrestler or something. That's all I can think of for this video. And um, I'm going to turn the comments off for this video because again, I always worry when I make videos like this, it's going to attract inappropriate comments and inappropriate men. Uh, so this video is just an offering to you. There should be no need to make comments on this video. Uh, maybe there is, but I'm going to turn the comments off for my own protection. <laughs> I don't want to be accosted by men being like, Ooh, would you ride my cock like that? Or, you know, there are always weirdos like that out there. So I, I dress very conservatively for this video and um, the important thing is that we need to speak up because, ladies, if it's painful, it's either because we're not moving right or we're allowing someone to do something that doesn't feel good and they don't know. So we've got to start speaking up and just making requests. And thank you for watching my video.